Hey, hey. All right, so we are going to be talking about warmers today. Whoop, whoop. Hope y'all are excited. Okay, so first things first, I need to get a bar of wax. I have one. Okay, so we have multiple different warmers and I'm gonna I'm gonna go over and explain them to you, okay? So before you pick out your warmer, I really want you to ask yourself, where am I gonna put this warmer? Where do I want it to go? How big do I want it? Um, questions like that because we have we have multiple different warmers for every place in your house literally okay so we have plug-ins which literally plug into an outlet so those are really good for small places okay so like a bathroom um a hallway um maybe in your kitchen depending on how big your kitchen is okay um and then you want to think about your bedroom do you want light in your bedroom if you don't want light in your bedroom, we have a warmer for you. I hate light in my bedroom. I keep my warmers on 24 seven because they are super safe, okay? Um, and so I get, I use a specific warmer for my bedroom that doesn't put off light. Or do you want a warmer that puts off light? Do you want to put it in your den? Do you want to put it in your hallway? Do you want to put it in your bathroom as a night light, you know? So I am going to show you guys the different warmers we have. Um, before we do that, let's talk about our wax. This is a bar of wax. What's really cool is that we have eight cubes of wax, okay? Depending on your warmer size is going to depend on how many cubes you put in your warmer. Also, how big your space is, okay? This one smells so good. This is Make Waves. It is the bomb. If you have any questions on, like, what fragrances you might like, just hit me up. I can tell you which ones you'll love, promise. Um, as long as you give me like a general idea of like what kind of fragrances you like. So this is our bar of wax. Um, our wax is super safe for your kids, for your dogs, for your home, okay? We, I am totally against candles because they are burning and what they're burning is going into the atmosphere and you're breathing that in, okay? Um, our wax is made out of the same wax that they use on your apples. So let's say that your kid accidentally eats this or your dog accidentally eats this. It's safe. You don't have to worry about calling poison control or anything like that because everything in our wax is food grade, meaning that it is perfectly safe for your kids. The other thing that's really cool about our warmers, the ones that use light bulbs, our bulbs only get to a certain temperature just enough to melt our wax. So our warmers do not burn our wax. We simply warm and melt our wax just enough to let the fragrance go into the atmosphere, okay? So we can smell it. Um, I'm completely obsessed with Scentsy. I've never had a problem. I've been with Scentsy. I've been using Scentsy for years. Um, I leave my warmers on 24 seven, literally, unless I'm going out of town. That's the only time I will turn them off. So, I haven't, I haven't noticed any difference in my electricity bill, anything like that, and y'all have a ton of warmers. So I'm gonna show you guys the different warmers we have, okay? Um, if I can figure out how to turn it around. Okay, well, for some reason, it's not letting me turn my camera around, but that's okay. So this warmer right here is our salt salt rock warmer. Um, it is real salt rock, but this is just an example of one that puts off light, okay? So this is our salt rock warmer. Um, literally, if you lick it, it's going to be super salty. Literally, I've done it. Um, but what's really cool is this is our dish, okay? The dishes are gonna be a little bit different, What's really cool, I, I gotta be careful. If you look on the bottom, there's a number four. That means that this warmer dish can hold four cubes of wax. So if you have this in a large room, you're gonna wanna put three to four cubes of wax in here because the more cubes, the longer the fragrance is gonna last and the further the scent throw is gonna be, okay? So those are just our average warmers that most people know about. Then we have mini warmers, um, which is what this is, even though it's on a base and I don't, well, do I have it? I don't have it plugged in, but this is what a mini warmer is, okay? This is a mini warmer. It actually comes with the base that would plug into an outlet, okay? But you can buy this base separately um, if you wanted it to sit on a tabletop, okay? 
Then we have what we call heating plate warmers, okay? And this is what this is. So this is our beautiful aloe baby. I have it in a pot. It doesn't normally come in the pot. Um, this is actually what it looks like. Not in the pot, which is still freaking cute, but I added a pot to it because y'all, I'm obsessed with plants. Um, so what's really cool about this one is, let me put it back in the pot so I can, since I'm one-handed. So that's what it looks like, okay? But that heating plate right there is how it heats the wax, okay? So currently I don't have this one on because I had put so much, I'm in a small room and I had changed my wax out, so I changed out my warmers that, um, have the fragrance so then once one goes away I can just turn on the other but um there is an indicator light on this what will turn red when it's on and then when it's off it, it'll it won't show anything okay so I really like this one heating plate and element warmers I'm going to show you an element warmer um you never have to replace the light bulb whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop. so for example this warmer the aloe warmer that I just showed you that is the type of warmer I would put in my bedroom, okay? Um, and then next, I'll show you guys maybe like one or two more warmers. Okay, then we also have warmers like this. Warmers like this one that only put off a little bit of light. You guys saw that our, um, the salt rock lamp puts off a lot of light. This one only puts off a little bit of light, which I really like. We currently have this one. I'm super obsessed with this one. This is our willow warmer. It is beautiful. As you can see, it puts off a lot, a lot of light. And then last but not least, I'm gonna show you guys our element warmers. So element warmers, same thing. They don't require a light bulb, um, so you don't have to ever replace it but this one doesn't, element warmers do not have an actual wax dish, okay? So this is an element warmer. He is super cute, I'm obsessed with him. So his wax dish doesn't come out, he's made into it, okay? So to change out my wax, I use cotton balls. I literally just drop some cotton balls in there, it soaks it right up, and you add your new wax, okay? Um, a really good tip is never add old never add new wax to old wax because it's going to dull your new wax okay so don't be lazy empty out your old wax add your new wax and i promise you will thank me so all right y'all those are our warmer types and yeah so um you can actually do bundles so if you're interested in getting both a warmer and some wax we can bundle it together to save you some money um if you're not interested in a warmer that's perfectly fine we can bundle you up some wax to save some money so wax bars are six dollars each or you can buy five get one free for thirty dollars okay um but like i said if you have any questions just reach out to me and we will get you all set up so thanks for joining